You like I've been losing long enough. I've been losing long enough. It's been way too long. It's been way too long. You've been losing. You've been missing out on your blessings. You've been losing. You've been around people who are secretly praying on your downfall. They're praying on your downfall. Get away from them. They make you feel low. They don't make you feel high. They don't make you feel how God wants you to feel. You've been losing for too long. God said it's your season now. It's your season right now. Right now, today, it's your season. It's your season. You shall not be the same from this day forward. God is saying you shall not be the same. You shall not be the same from this day forward. You will not be the same. You will not be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. You will not be the same. We rebuke the devil in Jesus' name. Yes, we do. You will not be the same after today. After today, you will not be the same. This is your winning season. Take control of it. Take control of it. Accept it. Receive it. This is your winning season. This season, you are going to win. You have been preparing and preparing and preparing and preparing and preparing. It's time to come out. It's time to come out. You've prepared long enough. God said you have prepared long enough. You've prepared. God is the plug. God is the plug. God is the plug. You have prepared and now God is ready to plug you in. God is ready to plug you in. Declare it over your life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Declare it over your life. Declare it. Declare it. Speak life over your life. I tell you guys all the time. It's whatever you speak. It's whatever you think. God says it's your time. God is so tired of you crying. Child of God. God is so tired of you worrying. Cast your worries and your anxiety all on me. God said cast your worries and anxiety on, on me. On me. Because he cares for you. I love that scripture. God cares for you. God does not want to see you crying down and out, worried about your spouse, worried about your children, worried about your life, your circumstance, your situation. God said, come on home. Come on home. Declare it over your life. The enemy can't stand it. The enemy cannot stand it. Declare it over your life. The enemy can't stand it. That's one thing the enemy cannot stand is you declaring life over your life. Is you declaring God's word over your life. The enemy can't stand it. So I want you to do it. I want you to do it. God said the problem is you're trying to do it without God. You're trying to do it without God. The minute you accept God and let him do it. See, we believe in God. Yes, we do. But if we really believed in God, if we really, 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 really believed in God, we would let him take control of it. We would let God take control of it. Have you ever just put your life in somebody's hands? A Uber driver, a friend, a, a man, um, anybody, and just really trusted them? Trust God now. Now you can trust God. Stop trusting man. I'm not saying don't trust the man that you're with. I'm not saying don't trust the people that you're around. But if you have allowed to trust them, allowed yourself to trust them, trust God. So whatever problem you have, take it to God. Even if it is about a man, take it to God. Take it to God. And to that enemy, it's dangerous to mess with a child of God. So you don't got to worry about that, honey. You don't got to worry about that. It is dangerous to mess with a child of God. Super dangerous. God is on your side, you cannot lose. You cannot lose. When God is on your side, you cannot lose. Who could be against you when God is for you? Who could be against you when God is for you? Come on now. The word says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. Come on now. Don't doubt God. Don't doubt God. Don't doubt Jesus. Don't doubt Jesus. God is right here. Whatever problem you have today, bring it to God today. I bet you he solved it. I bet you he solved it. I promise you he'll solve it. I know he'll solve it. He solved all my problems. And baby, I got problems on top of problems on top of problems on top of problems. Even if people need help from me, I ask the Holy Spirit, lead me, Holy Spirit, to help this person. Lead me. Whatever I ask, whatever I ask, God will do. Ask and you shall receive in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 and amen. The Bible said, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. He is a new creature. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. God said, be in Christ. Be in me. Recreate yourself. You are a new creature. You're a born again Christian. I don't care what nobody has told you. I don't care what you feel like. Speak it over your life. Speak it, speak it. Even if you don't believe it, speak it now so that it can come true. Begin to believe it. 
God loves you. God loves you. He don't want to see you like this. He don't want to see you go out like that. You got clothes on your back. You got food in your mouth. You have shelter. You have it all because of God. And if you don't have it, go get it. Ask God for it. He'll give it to you. He will give it to you. He will give it to you. Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit. Don't feel bad if you're going through something. It's not your fault. Don't feel bad if you're having problems in your relationship. Don't feel bad if things is not working. Guess what? All glory be to God. All glory be to God. Don't you ever think sometimes that God makes these things happen so that you could come to God and ask him for guidance? Don't you think that the devil done came in and the devil done tainted some things and made things all disproportionate and out of proportion? No, 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 no. God said, come to me. Come to me. I handle it. I handle it. Whatever you can't handle, I handle it. God wants to handle it. He wants to handle it today, right now. He wants to handle it. I suggest you take it to God right now in Jesus' name, amen. I pray for anybody who has any problem right now and doesn't know if they want to take it to God. God said, bring it to me, I got it. Bring it to me, I got it. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for using me as a blessing, as a vessel for your people to guide them. Lord, let the Holy Spirit lead me, Lord. I am led by the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name, amen. I am led by the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. And God is telling me to tell you right now, trust in him, trust in him, trust what his word says, trust in his words when he speaks to you, trust in him that he is bringing people to you to tell you what to do. He is leading you. He is having the Holy Spirit lead you where you need to go. He is directing your path in Jesus name. Amen. He is directing your path. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Ask and you shall receive. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Amen. Stay blessed, you guys. I love you. I'll see you again.